The distributive property. There are three steps to simplify an expression using the distributive property. Step one, keep change change when you see subtraction. Since we do not have subtraction in this problem, we are going to move on to step number two, which is to draw the arrows. We draw arrows so we don't forget to multiply that outside number to the second term in the parentheses. That is the most common mistake. And then finally, step three is to distribute. So we are going to multiply that five by both of the terms inside the parentheses. First, we have five times x. And five times x is equal to five x. Next, we have five times two. And five times two is equal to 10. So our simplified expression would be 5x plus 10. Now let's move on to the second example. We have 6 times the quantity x minus 4. Step 1 is to keep change change when you see subtraction. Since we have subtraction in this expression, we are in fact going to keep change change. Before we continue with the problem, I want to briefly review keep change change. We can use keep change change or the additive inverse to change a subtraction problem to an addition problem. You can see the problem on the screen, seven minus five, which most of us know instantly is equal to two. I'm gonna show you though how we can use keep change change to change that problem to an addition problem, but still get the same answer. So we start off with the original problem, seven minus five. And what we are going to do is keep the first number the same, change the subtraction sign to an addition sign, and then change that final number five to its opposite. So the opposite of a positive five is a negative five. And seven plus negative five is still equal to two. So you may be asking, what's the point? We already know seven minus five equals two. Well, keep change change really comes in handy when you have a problem that looks like this. Negative seven minus a negative three. Boy, that's a lot of negative signs. We can use keep change change to make this problem a lot easier. So remember, we keep that first number the same, change the minus sign, to a plus sign, and then take the opposite of the last number. The opposite of a negative three is a positive three, and negative seven plus three is equal to negative four. See how much easier it was after we applied keep change change? So let's head back to the problem. Six times the quantity x minus four. Since we have subtraction, we are going to apply keep change change and we're going to apply it inside the parentheses. So we're gonna keep the x the same, change the minus sign to a plus sign, and the opposite of a positive four is a negative four. And now we can move on to step number two. Draw the arrows. Now that we have our arrows, we can move on to step three, which is to distribute or multiply that outside number by both the inside terms. 6 times x is equal to 6x. And 6 times negative 4 is equal to negative 24. So we have the expression 6x plus a negative 24. But if you think about it, if you are adding a negative number, aren't you really just subtracting? If you said yes, you're exactly right. So we can do one more little step and that is to remove that plus sign. So our final expression will be 6x minus 24. So now it is your turn to try a couple. I got four problems on the screen. I would recommend you pause now, simplify the four expressions using the distributive property, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct.
Let's take a look at those solutions. For the first one, the simplified expression would be 3x plus 6. For the second one, the simplified expression would be 1 half x plus 3. For the third problem, the simplified expression would be 9x minus 45. And for the final problem, the simplified expression would be negative 8x plus 8. Since this is your first time practicing this, it can be tricky. If you did happen to get one of those incorrect, I would take some time to review the steps and see if you can find your mistake. That's the best way to get better at mathematics.